What's up everybody? Uh, today we're gonna try and make this old bumper a little bit better. Do something a little bit different with it. Uh, I'm gonna be using some spray adhesive, some old comic books, and some super glaze gloss epoxy. I'm gonna put the, the comic books on the bumper and then coat it in this. So really all you gotta do is just make sure the surface is clean. And then uh, just put some of the spray adhesive on the back side and just glue it in glue it in wherever wherever you need. Uh, you'll have to cut the cut the pages to fit all the around the edges and everything up in here. But that's the basic of how to do it. So uh, I guess let's get started. So the uh, the smaller you cut up the pages, the nicer you can get it to lay. Um, I'm not going to focus too much on getting every single little crease out. I'm just going to try and get it covered and get the epoxy on there and see how this is going to work out. So, as you can tell, it takes forever. I guess I've got about a third of it done so far. So here we have all the comic books on the bumper. It took about two hours to lay them all down. Um, I did end up cutting out pretty much every little uh, square because it was uh, having trouble going around all the curves and everything. Takes a little bit more time, but uh, it lays down a little bit better. So now we're gonna use this stuff. I'm gonna get this mixed up and uh. We'll start coating the bumper. Got my mixture all made up. So now from here we'll just pour it on. I'm going to keep mixing it up and pouring it on until we got the whole thing covered. So a, uh, a plastic knife is not what you're supposed to use to spread this stuff around.
one more mixture for across the bottom right there and then uh, we'll let it dry up for a few hours show you what it looks like on the car That's going to be all for this week. I uh, hope y'all like this little DIY video. But thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next week. Peace.